Uh, can we start with just the most recent uh, issues surrounding the government? That, that whole uh, kerfuffle over Simon Coveney's the ministerial car, was he entitled to one? Should he have got one? Uh, what did the Taoiseach know? Who did the Sec Gen of the Department of Antishuk, uh contact and, and why didn't he tell the Taoiseach uh, about uh, who he had contacted? What is your actual take on that story? Is it, is it a storm in a teacup or is it a serious issue? Well, firstly, um, the, the the Minister for Foreign Affairs has an important job to do, but it does not require him having a car and a driver at the cost of €200,000 per annum. Um, it's, it is extraordinary the way in which all of this was teed up for Simon Coveney. It seems that the former Taoiseach, now the Taunish, that made the running on it, and it seems the current Taoiseach and the future Taunish that was left in the dark on it. So you, you might regard it as a storm in a teacup, although it's public money, so it, that, that makes it a, a serious issue. But I think it points again, Shane, to the fact that this is a very disorganised, very chaotic, very shambolic government. Yeah, but um, before seems, we get to all of that, yeah. though, before we get to all, I'm, I'm just kind of, I just want to tease out the, the issue of, of the car. Like, he, he would travel to Northern Ireland pretty much on a weekly basis uh, as Minister for Foreign Affairs. Now, I don't want to overstate the security issue, but there is a security issue in travelling to Northern Ireland. I'm sure you yourself uh, take certain precautions when, when you're travelling north of the border because, for example, of uh, dissonant uh, activity. Yes, I do, like, um, uh, sh- sh- Is it not right and proper that he would have a, a guard, a driver, a, a, a ministerial car when, when he is on such business? I mean, you need guard the attention and protection if there is a direct uh, threat or a menace to you, absolutely, and that applies to every every. Uh, citizen and, and everybody on public duty, uh, including the Minister for Foreign Affairs. But that uh, that's not the case, as I understand it. And I'm not disputing the fact that the man might need uh, a driver. Um, th- that's, that's fair enough. But of course, um, that could be provided for, I would suggest, from Fine Gael Party resources. 